56-year-old Monroe Jackson appeared in Pike County District Court Friday following his arrest from a shooting that occurred September 26th. Jackson was charged with murder following the shooting death of Ryan Hurst. Uh, one of the callers actually stated that Monroe shot Ryan Hurst. So the first troopers to respond upon their arrival, they located Monroe Jackson while he got his residence holding the firearm. Uh, at that time, they detained Mr. Jackson and took possession of the firearm. Uh, after I arrived, I spoke with several neighbors and witnesses that were on the scene. None of them actually saw Monroe shoot Brian, but they stated they did hear the shots. Following the shots, they saw Brian Hurst running from Monroe's house. At Pifel Medical Center, our vision of creating a heart and vascular institute that will rival any other in Kentucky is a reality. We've assembled a top team of more than 30 multidisciplinary providers. Together, those highly experienced providers perform many of the most advanced cardiac procedures available anywhere. We have armed them with cutting edge technology and resources needed to provide comprehensive heart care close to home. Pifel Medical Center, when it comes to your heart, place your care in our hands. Brian Hurst of Flatwoods was shot once in the upper chest and was unarmed. He was declared dead at the scene. According to witness statements, Hurst was at Jackson's residence for a part. Uh, one of the witnesses, William Bentley, according to him, he brought Brian to Monroe's house uh, in hopes to get a part for a truck. Uh, he also did witness the shooting, but he stated he did hear the shot and he also saw Brian flee from the residence. And according to him, following the, five, the shot, he heard, he saw Monroe holding the firearm and he heard Monroe make a statement that he shot that thief. Based on Detective Stiltner's testimony, District Judge Tommy May ruled there was probable cause to turn Jackson's case over to a Pike County grand jury, which will have 60 days to return an indictment. For Mountaintop News, I'm Brianna Robinson.